This video is sponsored by PageProof. Let's look at our paragraph styles. Of course, we have a bit of a mess here. So all of this is basic paragraph, as I mentioned, all with overrides. So starting at the very top, this should be the project location style. But again, presumably I have a whole series of project sheets that are using the same formatting. So I wanna create a system to make this a little bit easier. So I'm putting my cursor up here in the Slothville Costa Rica text. I'm gonna to go to Commander Control F again. Let's clear out those grips. And in text, instead of find what change to looking for a specific text, I'm gonna go down below and look for it by format. So when I click anywhere in this gray area, it gives me some options for some style options. Well, I don't have any. This is all in basic paragraph with overrides. So instead, I'm gonna navigate down to basic character formats. Looking at my control panel, I can see that this text is in basic sans. It's an extra light, which is in brackets. And the color of it seems to be red. I'm gonna scroll down and choose this red text and click OK. And just to make sure that that's all I find, I'm just gonna do a find next. And then I'm gonna to go to change format. And for this, I can either choose anywhere in the gray or on the icon and go ahead and assign the paragraph style of project location and click OK. And now if I want to, I could save this as a query. If I know that I have this kind of formatting a lot, I could save this query and I'm just gonna call it PL for project location. And now it's available up here in the query menu. I'm gonna go ahead and choose change all. And now that one is correct. I'll do the same thing for the project name. I'm gonna put my cursor in here I'm going to clear out these settings, put my cursor in here, go back to basic character formats. And I know that this is the only thing in that specific font family. I want to change this from project location to project name. So this Serenity Sloth Sanctuary, that formatting is going to change to project name. And again, I could save this as a query. Change all. I can quickly zip through and do this one. Now this one is using the same font as a lot of other things in here. So the difference is, is the color. So I'm gonna trash these things, go back in here. And this time I'm only looking for something that's lime green. And I'll just do a quick find next. and we'll do a change all. And in change format, that should be project tagline, change all. Now when we get down to dates and costs, so for this one, it's Sweet Sans Pro Bold, but I know that that is a lot of other places in my document. So I want to modify my search just a little bit. So I'm gonna to go to Sweet Sans Pro Bold. These two things should be my project sidebar header, but instead of searching document, I'm only gonna search the story. So I know I'm only gonna capture these two and not the other ones that are throughout my document and do a quick make sure you clear that color out and do a quick change all
in this, my bullets pose another issue. They look identical to the body style. But once again, I know that there's nothing in this story that should be bulleted except the bullets that should be in the project sidebar body style. So in find format, I'm looking only for a bulleted list. So I'm going to go down to bullets and numbering and choose bullets. And then in my change format, project sidebar body and click OK. And again, only searching the story, I'll do a quick change all. And the last one I'm going to do is this text, which should be the body style. So in the fine format where it says list bulleted, I'm going to trash these. And for this one, I'm going to choose basic paragraph because that's all that's left. The last thing that's in basic paragraph and change it to body. Now this one I am going to save as a query BP to body and click OK and change all. Well, that worked for everything that was unformatted, but what about the items that are formatted to the wrong style? For example, Butterfly Oasis is in this previous branded style naming convention of lowercase when it really should be with project name. Now, once again, this is an easy change when it's just one, but presumably you have a lot of them. So I'm going to go back into find and here in text, when we choose find format, this time I'm going to search for the paragraph style of lowercase project name and replace it with the paragraph style of title case project name in the projects folder. Click OK, search the document and save this query. I'm going to do the same thing again for project location. Click OK and change the format to project location inside of the projects folder. Click OK, change all, and save this query. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.